Today we are going to discuss a possible scenario that former President Trump could be looking at. Because of the event that took place in Washington, D.C. on January 6, 2021, we'll be examining the law and constitution. If you enjoy the content from this channel, please subscribe and set your notifications. Let's begin. Welcome to our discussion today where we'll delve into an intricate aspect of American law and politics. Our focus is on the Insurrectionist Act, its implications, and how it could potentially keep the former U.S. President Donald Trump out of future elections. To start, the Insurrectionist Act is a section of the U.S. Constitution's 14th Amendment. It was created in the aftermath of the Civil War primarily to prevent individuals who had engaged in rebellion against the U.S. government from holding office. What brings this act into current discussions is the events of January 6, 2021. On this day, supporters of President Trump breached the U.S. Capitol, an action perceived by many as an insurrection, hence the relevance of the Insurrectionist Act. The argument for applying the Insurrectionist Act to President Trump primarily rests on his actions and speech before the Capitol Hill riots. Critics argue his words incited the violence, making him complicit in the insurrection, therefore disqualifying him from holding office. There is debate over whether Trump's speech and actions actually meet the legal definition of inciting or assisting an insurrection under the law. His words could be defended as free speech rather than an explicit call to violence. This action would be very divisive and inflammatory, particularly among Trump's supporters who view efforts to bar him from office as political persecution. It could exacerbate dangerous political tensions. Barring someone from running for office is an extremely serious act that some view as anti-democratic if done based on weak evidence. It could set a bad precedent. Trying to use an ambiguous law to disqualify a candidate would likely result in lengthy legal battles in court. The Supreme Court may be reluctant to prohibit a former president and leading candidate from running again. The process to implement this would involve a simple majority vote in both houses of Congress. However, it's important to note that this hasn't been used in over a hundred years making its application a very complex legal issue. Congress may not have the political will to invoke the Insurrectionist Act against Trump given the high legal and political risks. The votes may not be there for it. On the other hand, supporters of President Trump have a different perspective. They argue that the former president didn't directly call for violence. His speech, they say, was a call for peaceful protest not an insurrection. If you have any questions about this subject, please feel free to leave a comment. It will get answered. Moreover, they point out that President Trump, at the time of the riots, was still in office, and the Insurrectionist Act is designed to prevent individuals from holding office, not removing those already in office. Additionally, they argue that applying the Insurrectionist Act to Trump could set a dangerous precedent. It could potentially be used as a political weapon, disqualifying individuals from running for office based on accusations rather than solid proof. The question of whether or not President Trump should be barred from future elections using the Insurrectionist Act is a deeply divisive one. It not only touches on the legal complexities of the act itself, but also raises questions about the nature of free speech and political responsibility. At the end of the day, it's up to the lawmakers to decide. They must weigh the evidence, understand the intricacies of the law, and make a decision that upholds the Constitution and the principles it embodies. In conclusion, the Insurrectionist Act could, in theory, keep President Trump out of future elections, but the application of this act is a complex and controversial issue. It remains to be seen how this will play out in the American political landscape. We hope this discussion has helped you gain a deeper understanding of the Insurrectionist Act and its potential implications in American politics. Thank you for joining us. Until next time, stay informed and stay engaged.